now we already studied different thermodynamic cycles in subject thermodynamics so here uh, we already studied the rankine cycle also in the thermodynamics but here we have to um, solve the some problem so some basics needs are there so we are going with this uh, the rankine cycle so we already know the rankine cycle is a theoretical cycle on which the steam power turbine or engines are work so our thermal power plants are work based on the rankine cycle so here you can see in the diagram the line diagram of the main with the main four component of the thermal power plant so main four component in which there is a boiler turbine condenser and feed pump we already know the function of the each uh, uh, component now here how the thermal power plants works based on the uh, rankine cycle we and we have to derive the efficiency equation for the same so now here you can see the first there is a boiler second turbine third condenser and fourth one is a pump so one to two process here you can see the one to two there is a turbine and inside the turbine the adiabatic expansion or we can say isentropic expansion is take place and we get as an output work second one is two to three process and the process two to three is a constant pressure heat rejection process or here inside the condenser we know the steam is converted into water or phase changes take place so constant pressure heat rejection process is take place inside the condenser then after 3 to 4 it is also a reversible adiabatic pumping process or or we can say it is the uh, isentropic compression process 3 to 4 where the cooling water is uh, comp uh, we can say the cooling water is pressure is increased and passed to the boiler and finally the 4 to 1 it is a constant pressure heat addition process so here inside the uh, com uh, boiler we combust the coal and uh, heat is generated and heat this heat is used to convert the steam water into steam so here 1 to 2 is isentropic expansion 2 to 3 constant pressure heat rejection 3 to 4 isentropic compression and 4 to 1 it is constant pressure heat addition process so this four processes are consist inside the Rankine cycle now if you want to derive the um, uh, Rankine cycle efficiency equation then we apply the steady flow energy equation on each and every component so now if we draw the control volume on the boiler we start from the boiler and we consider over here the working fluid is 1 kg here the working fluid is 1 kg or steam is 1 kg and we derived the efficiency equation for the same so now first we start from the boiler so inside the boiler if we uh, going with the uh, acceptable equation or we can say control volume then we already know the water is in steam is out and heat is in so energy in is equals to energy out so energy in here water and water is in form of fluid so it's have some enthalpy so here we can say hf4 and it is the fluid or water enthalpy because it is comes with the high temperature then after here we are added inside the boiler some heat or some and coal so q1 amount of heat is added so this is the two things water and heat both are added so we can say hf4 plus q1 is equals to the steam is out so steam have some high temperature and high pressure so it's have enthalpy h1 so here this is steam out is equals to h1 so finally this is the energy in is equals to energy out or sfw apply on the boiler so finally we get q1 is equals to h1 minus hf4 this is the equation number one same if we apply for the turbine then energy in energy out so we know the energy in steam is in from the one so enthalpy h1 is equals to energy out so work is out wt out plus the saturated steam is come out so it is h2 so we simply says that h1 is equals to wt plus h2 so finally wt is equals to h1 minus h2 so this is the sfw for boiler and turbine now we going for 
condenser so if you're talking about the condenser then we already know inside the condenser uh, this uh, the uh, steam is come so it's have some uh, it's have some energy so we can say hf3 is uh, sorry this is the um, steam is come inside the uh, condenser so h2 is in is equals to the steam is reject some heat so q2 plus the water is come out so hf3 so finally q2 is equal to h2 minus hf3 finally the feed pump the feed pump the water is in plus some work we are added to work the pump so here we are we are putting some uh, electricity to work the um, to work the pump so here wp is in plus fluid water is in so it is hf3 plus wp is equals to the fluid water is or fluid or water is out so it is hf4 so we simply said wp is equals to hf4 minus hf3 now if we talking about this is the ts diagram then we simply says that here from 1 to 2 this is the turbine so here 1 to 2 is turbine and here we are getting some external work so in, we know inside the turbine the expansion is take place and due to the expansion the temperature of the steam is decreases so here we can say this is the isentropic expansion process 1 to 2 and it is the turbine and we get some amount of work as an output now here you can see 2 to 3 and 2 to 3 is our condenser where the constant pressure heat is rejected so q2 is rejected over here from 2 to 3 so constant pressure heat rejection processes take place from 2 to 3 then after 3 to 4 and 3 to 4 is indicate the pump work or we can say this is a pump portion where we are apply some uh, energy electricity and fluid is pressurized so here the 3 to 4 is due to the compression process some amount of uh, temperature is increased that's why here 3 to 4 indicates the temperature raise of the uh, water by some amount but here if you see the same thing from 4 to 1 here this is the boiler portion 4 5 and 1 so inside the boiler the heat is added and temperature of this um, water is increasing so first when it is comes at point number 4 at that time it is in the form of water so first we are you added the heat its temperature is raised and converted into steam so here at the point number 5 up to that the sensible heat is added so it is convert its temperature is raised after the point number 5 when we added some amount of heat the latent heat is added and it's now water is converted start to uh, convert into steam and finally at the point number 1 it is converted into saturated steam so 4 5 1 is uh, 5 1 it is the heat addition process at constant pressure p1 so this is the um, ts diagram for the same now here here you can see here <coughs> 4 to 3 is a pump now here hf4 minus hf3 is equals to v3 and p1 minus p2 into 100 so how it is come so here here the pump work is take place but here the um, uh, we can use uh, the isentropic process here this is the isentropic compression process so if we apply the thermodynamics relation tds is equals to dh minus vd P. at that time we can get the entropy of 0.3 and 4 is remain constant so tds is become 0 so it is dh minus vdp is equals to 0 so dh is equals to vdp so we know the uh, enthalpy difference dh hf3 minus hf4 and v v is the volume at the point 3 and here the water is small amount of water is compressed or we can say the water is incompressible fluid that's why the water is not compressed so volume is remain constant so here it is the volume of the fluid or water at the point 3 so it is v3 and dp means pressure difference and we know the pressure difference at point 3 and 4 and it is p1 minus p2 so that's why this is comes from the um, relation of uh, thermodynamic relation tds is equals to dh minus vdp which is very simple so now if you want to uh, use this relation for or we can see in the uh, relation the p is used for in bar then multiply with the 100 so whole value is converted into kilojoule per kg so this is 
all acceptably apply on these uh, four main major component of the thermal power plant now we already know the um, Rankine cycle efficiency is equals to W net upon heat supply so here W net the um, uh, work is uh, produced inside the turbine is WT but some work is used for to run the pump so, so WP amount of work is used so finally we get the net amount of work is WT minus WP divided by Q1 heat supply because output upon input it is called efficiency so our output is WT minus WP and our input is heat supply now we can uh, take the values of WT and WP from the previous equation number 1 2 and then we finally get the value of um, Rankine cycle efficiency H1 minus H2 minus H4 minus HF3 divided by H1 minus HF4 so this is the efficiency equation of the Rankine cycle now if in some cases the work required for the pump is very small the feed pump work required is very small small quantity at that time we can neglect the turbine work so we can we can modify this equation H1 minus H2 upon H1 minus HF4 so this is the final the Rankine cycle efficiency equation so it is very simple to understand because if you learn the TS diagram and its line diagram then you can easily got the how the um, uh, Rankine cycle work or power plant work so power plant is work based on the Rankine cycle and its efficiency equation is this so this is a very simple uh, 